up guys? Today we are watching season 2 episode 11 of Breaking Bad. So last episode, halt. I was about to say halt, I mean Walt. Walt was switching up a little bit, you know, he went from seeming so calm and everything to anger and like you know he got angry with Hank and I was really confused as to why because it's like he seemed fine at first but then he switched up. But even at the end of the episode, he seemed more of his Heisenberg persona because, you know, there was like a drug dealer at the store. He seemed like he was helping him a bit. And then he freaking threatened him and to say, like, stay out of my town or whatever. That was pretty ballsy of him. But it's like, you know, with him switching up so much, it's just like, it's fun to see, but also, like, aggravating in a way but we're working with it because I mean he's gonna keep switching up no matter what but I'm ready to see what's gonna happen this episode so I guess let's get into it what you need yo you buying or you just stopping envy why are they just not talking What was even the point if they weren't going to say anything? And why is that dude wearing all white? You know, I hope you don't sit down anywhere because shit's going to get on there. So are they watching you or something? Bounce, little man. Yo, Skinny, I'm up here on second and Hazel Dime getting eyeballed hard. I got a bad feeling, man. I need some backup. Get your ass up here now. Since he didn't answer, he's not gonna know. So he's kind of screwed right now. What the f- How's that man running? Like, I guess his adrenaline kicked in or whatever, but it's like, oh my fuck. A kid. That was because of them. They used a kid as a. My god. Last time we talked about sealing the deal. Absolutely. As you know, um, my initial diagnosis was that your cancer was inoperable. Don't tell me it's going to be operable now. That a lobectomy may be a viable option. Maybe a pretty good option. Dr. Bravenick. Is he going to want to do that, though? Or is he just going to want to live with it? Yes, very much so. Understand that if you don't have the surgery, you're just waiting for the cancer to spread. And it will. Well, we already knew that. You don't have to tell us that. Cost. I mean, I'm not on your insurance. I'd say between 170 and 200,000 all in. For my part, I. Surgery is a lot of fucking money, man. And you folks are going to want to take some time to discuss it. No. I'll do it. That's kind of surprising that he didn't talk to Skylar about it. No, it's the uh, 21st. So two weeks and change. Okay, I'll book the surgery for four weeks from now. That way Walter can be on his feet for the birth of your daughter. Oh, okay. So at least he'll be able to meet his kid, you know, like just in case. What do I mean just in case? This has another like four fucking seasons. Or is it three? I think it's only three. Yeah. It's me. Where the hell were you? I called like 20 times. Working. Why wouldn't you just tell him you were talking about getting surgery? Combo's dead. Shot. Which one is he? He doesn't even know which one's which. That is sad. What's the word on the street? No one's dropping no names. 
combo rang me before it went down, said a couple of dudes were mad dogging him, trying to run him up off the corner. What are they gonna do if they even found out it was a kid? You wouldn't mess with a kid, all right? With combo gone and Badger laying low out in Cali, I'm on probation, man. Fast track to Los Lunas. So, is, are they really gonna lose all of their dealers, basically, since one died, dude is away, and then now this dude? Like, that was his main three. So now what are they gonna do? Thing to the head thing, the ATM. Yeah. This junkie bitch cop to it. Whole town knows it wasn't you. So she fucked it up for your reputation. Even though you didn't even seem like you wanted that to be your reputation anyway, but Walt convinced you. Well, goodbye. I, we'll, we'll make it. Sorry, Jesse. I'm out. So now they're screwed. Who, who's gonna deal for you now? On me. You are in charge of distribution. You said expand the territory. That you doesn't said mean you become guys, careless. guys, hey! Who do I look like? Maury Povich? I'm not your marriage counselor. It seems like they're in fucking therapy right now. It's looking a little more positive. I may have more time than I thought. Outstanding. <clears throat> As to your dead guy, uh... He didn't even seem too happy about it. You did say make hay while the sun is shining. Guys, <laughs> why the long faces here? I mean, you're sitting on a gold mine. But now they have no one to do it. Yeah, they have no one to sell it. But let's start with some tough love, all right? Ready for this? Here goes. You two suck at peddling meth, period. You ain't wrong about that. I agree with you there. Commodity that it is. Somebody who ships out of town, deals only in bulk. Someone who's been doing this for 20 years and never been caught. Someone that ain't Tuco. So who? I know a guy who knows a guy. Who knows another guy. <laughs> of course. Look, there's... Some stuff about me you don't know. Like you're a drug dealer? I kind of got that. Damn. So she knew. Again, y'all are shitty. Everyone's finding out. I'm going to smoke some crystal, and I just think you should go, being that you're in the program and all. And Look at him being thoughtful, you know? I don't need you telling me that it won't. I just, all right, I really just need you to go. Don't be a dick, Jesse. She, she was trying to help you. And you know, she's nice for even letting him do that because she could have just kicked him out. Please don't tell me she's gonna smoke with him. Please don't. That dude was just from that show that I seen that came out recently, Kaleidoscope or something. And he was in Maze Runner. Like, Scorch Trials, and the other one, Death Cure. I guess is as good as mine. So you get the dude's name? Nope. How is he gonna get the name if the other dude didn't even know his name? So we can both just sit here with our Happy Meals looking like a couple chumps. 
Gentlemen, is everything to your satisfaction? All right, thanks. What if it's him? No. I don't know. It's just like something made me think it'll be him since he looks so innocent. And then, you know, because he said it, he's like Walt. He looks innocent and so does Walt, but, you know. I think she's waking up from a nap. <laughs> she is certainly going to want to get out and stretch those legs soon. Skylar really went to an appointment by herself. We'll just have you in for an ultrasound next week and keep an eye on things. Hey. Oh man, you would not believe the traffic. <laughs> I thought, I thought she was just gonna be there fully by herself the whole time. I was about to be like, Walt, that's shitty, but. One week from Friday. Good. Ooh, isn't that a Friday the 13th? <laughs> no, I thought it was about to be something different, like. I've got to run back to the office, so I will see you later. Oh, it, it's an hour before closing. You're supposed to be taking it easy. Why you? Because I said I would. I mean, it's the least I can do. You just look like you came up with a lie right on the spot. So that's a lie. Maybe. Jesse's having it rough. But what about the other girl? What happened with her? Please tell me she's okay. Seriously. You know that museum in Santa Fe you talked about? Let's take a drive. Now they're finally gonna do it? So she's been doing it. Damn it, Jesse. Come on. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh my god, this is this is beautiful, guys. Thank you very much. At least she wasn't lying about the party thing. I want to hear it first. Absolutely not, no way. Come on, you cannot deny your employer's birthday wish. Yes, I can. Watch me. Please! Is he talking about the gender? Happy birthday to you. What the fuck? That looks so seductive. Happy birthday. At least she ain't a bad singer. She did good. He wasn't there. Oh, he was there all right. What are you talking about? I sat there for two hours. Nobody came. All I know is my contact said he was there. So then who was it? Was I right about the dude? Jib. Anyway, it doesn't matter now because my contact says it's a no-go. What? What? What do you mean? No deal, no dice. Why not? What happened? Them, all right? I called the guy who called the guy who called the guy. Second of all, it's over. Understand? With this particular individual, all you get is the one shot. Well, no more shots for you. So, like, what now? Why is he going back to that place as if dude will be there? Unless he is. Because I might have been right. Mm -hmm. 
the fact that she stayed there that long, like why? Is she thinking what I'm thinking? Diet Coke, please. And five minutes of your time. So he's right. I would like to know why you wouldn't meet with me yesterday. I'm sorry, I'm not following. Imagine if he is wrong and dude is literally so fucking confused. And I would be meeting with is very careful. A cautious man. I believe we're alike in that way. So you see it too, Walt. You know I'm right. Your partner was late and he was high. Yes. Yes, he was. So he was right. His total switch up too. They're alike. Forget he exists. I have to ask. Why? Why him? They help each other out. He knows how to do shit. Because I can trust him. You know, to say that, to, that you trust him, that's a big step for y'all. But also, to say that he does what you say, that's also manipulative. You can never trust a drug addict. Is this kind of like a foreshadowing kind of moment? Are we sooner or later not going to be able to trust Jesse? Like, I'm actually kind of mad at him right now for like what happened with the girl. Like, she was doing great. And she did stuff because he's in pain. In a few cases, I found Xerox copies with the dates changed. Who's changing the shit? It, oh, it's him? <laughs> you got me. We're talking nearly a million dollars of undocumented revenue. So she knows this man's secret. What is she going to do with it? How is she going to treat it? They're in the books. Business is terrible. The bank is on my back. Uh, the IRS is grinding me down to a nub. If, if I don't keep up... Ted, people go to prison for this. Is she going to, like, turn him in for it? Or is, are they going to, like, a reason? Don't report this. Please. I swear to God, Skylar. I'm turn you in, Ted. Okay. But I can't be a part of it. That's respectful. That is okay. But that's just so different. It's like, if she knew about Walt's situation, even though it's like it's kind of different, would she react the same way, or would she turn him in? You know? I thought she was about to be the type to just turn man in, but she didn't. So that's really surprising. So we're definitely talking high end. Anyway, guess you had something bigger going down. Watch your back out there, bro. Peace. That's sad. I didn't know he missed the funeral. She got more? And you're letting her, Jesse. Is that heroin? If you don't stop her, Jesse, we are gonna fight. Take that off. 
Ew, new. I hate needles. Lovers take for granted. Okay, that's totally different. How the fuck did they shoot that? Is it green screen? I feel like it might be green screen. Why is she back? I thought she was gonna quit since she knew. But she's not, I guess. Why? Phones off, please. That's his in the roof. What if it falls through? Maybe it's not smart to do that. Maybe he should have put it somewhere else. Did you not think about it doing that before? Or did you just like not for like not remember to turn on like not vibrate or something? I don't know. On these thin glasses. Yes, sir. That's the owner. Oh, oh, owner. Okay. He owns 14 Los Boyos restaurants in between here and Nevada. He could be at any one of them. Damn. Okay. Is this about a complaint? I'd be happy to refer you to our website. No, no. It, what's his name? Gustavo. Gus. Thank you. Maybe Gus is going to be a good person. Better than Tuco. $1.2 million truck stop, two miles south of exit 13 on the 25. One hour. What? One hour, you in or out? Does it even have that many, or like that much made? Don't ever show your face in here again. They expect him to do that so quickly, as if he doesn't need Jesse. Off the 25 south to a truck stop. Or does it, like I'm saying, like does he need to make more or what? I'm coming by. I need the product. I need the product now. He probably did the product, maybe. But he's he's on some stuff right now, so he's probably not even gonna answer the door. Don't tell me she's about to go into labor or something. And it was just like a kick or something. Oh! 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 Ooh. So this is gonna happen while Walt's gonna get his shit and he's gonna miss everything. Don't tell me that's what's gonna happen. Of course, and he's not even gonna fucking know. My fuck. Jesse, Jesse, wake up. Uh, wake up. Wake uh, up. Uh, Damn. Wake up. Oh my fuck. He looks dead. Where'd you hide the meth? Where is it? Where? Under the seat. <laughs> Jesse looks horrible. He's gonna have to pick either getting two mil like 1.2 or like 2 million bucks or going see the birth of his child. 
And if you go get that money, course that's how the episode is going to end okay this is one of the most like stressful fucking endings to an episode yet where do i even start is he actually gonna go and get the money or is he gonna go to the hospital like at this point it seems like he's just gonna go get the money because he did bring the meth with him so maybe he's gonna be like oh i can just make a quick stop and hurry up and do this and make it in time but then again i don't know how fast babies come people could be in labor for like so long but then again she's getting a c-section c-section you know so it's like maybe there could be a lot of time but then again you never fucking know so it's like money baby for him it shouldn't I don't want to say it shouldn't be that hard of a decision, but it's also like, mm, I don't know. I feel like it's just, he's in such a shitty situation right now. And then especially with fucking Jesse, I feel so bad for Jesse, but I'm also pissed at that man. Like, I love, I used to love him at this moment. I want to fight him. The girl was doing so good going to her AA meetings and everything. And she relapsed and did shit because of Jesse. And yes, Jesse is in pain. And he also did try and get her to leave so she wouldn't do it with him. But it's like, it's just a shitty situation. And then to see Jesse like that, like he looked horrible he looked like he needed to be brought to the hospital he was so out of it and it it got me scared for a second because whenever walt was shaking him and shit he didn't seem like he was like moving and stuff and then it like it took a lot of fucking shakes just to like get him a little conscious and shit i swear that is the most stressful fucking ending like it felt so intense and everything. And then with fucking Skylar, I thought, she, we thought she was going to quit her job and everything because she found out what was happening. But she's back there. Why? Because this is, this is making me question because it's like, if she hides like what that man is doing, how is she going to react whenever she like finds out or whatever, like what Walt's doing? Like, maybe it's, like, a kind of different situation, but there's still, like, fraud kind of shit, you know? It's a criminal thing. And if you hide it for him, then you're kind of, like, it's bad if you don't also hide it for Walt, but it's, like, you're hiding it. How do I even, like, say that? It's, like, if she doesn't hide it for him, then she's, like, I don't want to say she's a bad person, but, like... It's such a difficult situation. I swear. We have, what, like another two episodes, I think. Let me see. I think it's another two episodes until the end of the season. Yep, 12 and 13. Okay, so we have two more. The ending of that one was already fucking stressful, so I wonder how the fucking next two episodes are gonna go. Like, where else is it going to lead? Because now we have a new drug dealer dude. He seems just like Walt in a way. But. I swear. I feel like shit's going to fuck up. Shit was already. I mean that's what's going to happen in this show. I mean it's a drug dealing kind of show. What else do you think is going to happen? Like. But it's so fucking stressful right now. Like, it hasn't been as stressful in the last, like, couple episodes. Like, maybe since, like, episode one or two of the beginning of the season. But now? Mmm, that shit got me... I'm so intense in everything right now. I fucking hate it. But 
I want to see what's going to happen with, like, them. I want to see what's going to happen with the girl and Jesse because it's, like, I wonder if sooner or later she's going to, like, get mad at him or if they're just going to continue to, like, do drugs together. And if that happens, I'm going to feel so fucking bad because she was on a great path until Jesse. And I'm sorry to say that, but sorry. Not sorry. It's the truth. But... Yeah, I want to see what's going to happen with everything else, I guess. So, come back for episode 12.